Right, hello there and welcome to another devlog. Today we are going to be creating my first ever mobile game. This is the making of Cubic Rain. So when starting this project, I thought it was going to be easy. There are so many mobile games out there, surely it's not that difficult to make one. Well, I was wrong. Actually, making a mobile game might not be difficult, but designing one definitely is. Because you don't have the freedom of a keyboard, the processing power of a PC, or the huge monitor to display things on. The only things you've got are a small screen and a finger. That's it. So knowing these restrictions, I decided I wanted to make an extremely simple game. But because I am not very good at coming up with game ideas, I also decided to strain the process of me making this game, because it allowed me to ask a live audience for ideas and feedback. This then resulted in me now streaming on a regular basis, so if you want to catch one of those streams, you can do so at twitch.tv slash dynam. There will also be a link in the description. So on the first stream, we came up with a very simple idea. What if you had a planet with cities, nuclear reactors, nature, and lots more that you needed to destroy with meteors? I know it sounds pretty weird, but we thought it was a good idea. The gameplay was that you needed to destroy the cities and nature, but not the nuclear reactor, because that would cause the planet to actually explode. But of course, that doesn't really matter when you're a meteor, so we changed it to an alien spaceship. But the concept stayed exactly the same. Then after we had settled on that idea, we started working on a generation system for the planets, so you would get a different planet each time you play. And after about two hours, we got it working. This project was looking very promising and we made tons of progress. But then the next stream came around, and by then the idea had a time to fully sink in, and I realized how the gameplay wasn't really fun, and that we were focusing more on the story than the actual gameplay, something I knew to be dangerous. So I decided we needed a new and better idea, something completely abstract that was just gameplay. And after some time, an idea was suggested. Something that was so abstract and easy, it just might work. What if you had a game with falling objects that you needed to click before they hit the bottom of the screen? This was not an original idea, and I'm sure it has been done a thousand times, but it was the idea we needed. It was simple, and it was doable. I also came up with an addition to that idea in the form of the bottom of the screen moving upwards when you die to make it a bit more interesting and challenging. So we started working and by the end of the stream we had a very simple prototype that was fully functioning. Over the next couple days we built upon that prototype, making the game more difficult and better looking as we go. We started with a score system, which counted how many objects you had clicked before they hit the bottom of the screen, which was extremely logical and simple to set up. Then we started working on the difficulty of the game, since it was currently very easy and there wasn't really a real challenge. We started by increasing the falling speed of the objects. We did this by increasing the gravity scale each time you clicked one of the objects, and then when one of them hit the bottom of the screen, the gravity scale would decrease again, making the objects slower. This will then repeat until you die. We also added a red cube to the game that had a small chance of spawning instead of the green cube. This red cube was a dangerous cube that you aren't supposed to click on. Instead, you need to ignore it and focus on the next green cube. If you do decide to click on the red cube, the bottom of the screen rises up, just like when a green cube would hit it. These two things made the game a lot more interesting and difficult, although at this time they weren't balanced at all and needed a lot of playtesting. After that, I added a screen shake effect to the game. This was incredibly easy to do, since I had just done it before for my other game, Bounce and Shrink. Then we started working on making the game look just a bit better. We did this by adding lighting to our game and a simple bloom effect. This wasn't a lot of work, but it made a huge difference. Then came the last 
stream. All the mechanics were pretty much done and we just needed to polish and finish the game. First we got rid of the gravity skill system because it just didn't quite work. Instead we decided to decrease the time between the spawning of the cubes. This made the gameplay a lot more fast paced. Something it really needed but that change caused a problem. Because at some point the time between spawns got so low that the cube before it wasn't out of the way yet. But this made the game so much better. The chaos this problem caused was so much more fun than the original idea we had. And so we kept it and it became the fundamental feature of this game. After that happy accident, we also changed a couple other things, like making the floor orange, having a score counter that changes colour when the floor reaches it, and adding a play button. And then with the game almost finished, we decided to come up with a name for it. My suggestion was falling cubes, but someone in the chat suggested cubic rain and everyone loved it. So cubic rain it was. I then ended the stream and decided to fully finish it alone. I added a high score system that displays what your best score is, an option to turn off post processing and last but not least I created my very first saving system. It saves two things, your high score and your post processing settings. I still have no idea how it works but it does and I'm not going to question it. So that's it, the creation of my very first mobile game. I am extremely proud that I pulled this off. The game is very simple but that's exactly the kind of game I needed to make. If you want to play Cubic Rain for yourself, you can head over to the itch page in the description. There you can play it in your browser, download it for your PC or download it for your Android device. Sadly enough there is no iOS version because I have no idea how to do that. With that said, thank you so much for watching. Make sure to check out my Twitch where I am currently streaming daily and also make sure to join my Discord. Don't forget to subscribe, like the video if you liked it and I will see you in the next one. Bye.